All right, so what we are going to do now is first of all, we are going to remove all of these lines of code all of the main section and we are going to start from scratch and in this exercise we are going to write a function that simply receives nothing it receives no no parameters all right it receives nothing but but the function will first of all return something all right so the function will return some value previously in the first two exercises if i'm not mistaken we did not return anything we just used two functions of a void type but that's about to change right now so the function will return something but what the function will do the function will get the function by itself will get from the user three numbers as input all right it will ask the user to insert three numbers similarly to how we do it in the main function but now we are going to do it inside of different function inside of another function which is also okay right there is nothing wrong about it and the function will this function will find the maximum value the maximum between these three given numbers Okay, numbers. And then of course the function is going to return the maximum that we've just found. So how should we approach this function? How should we approach and how should we solve this exercise? So first of all, we know that the function is going to return something and that's a maximum value. And we know that this will be the maximum between given three numbers. And we will assume that these three numbers, just for convenience, uh, are going to be of an integer type, all right? So they are going to be an integer type. And that's why we can say that the type of the function is also going to be int. So we are specifying int as the type of the function. Now what we are going to do is specify the function name and we will go with something like this, max between three let's call it like this and the function receives nothing so these uh, parentheses are going to be empty and now all that remains is simply to specify the function body you see guys this this case when you do not get any parameters is also okay there is no necessity to always give here an int num or char a some some character and so on it also can remain empty. So now let's type the function, let's write down the function body. So what we should do here, how should we find the maximum between three numbers? We, we, we should use some condition definite conditions definitely, but we are going to start from here. We are going to get from the user three numbers as input. So for that, we are going first of all to create these numbers. So int num1, num2, and num3. And now we are going to use some guiding message. So enter num1, num2, and num3. Okay, so that's it. And now we are going to read from the console uh, the values that the user specifies. And we are going to do it, I'm going to show you something new. We are going to do it with just one scanf function. We are going to specify percentage %d, percentage %d, percentage %d, and percentage %d. And we are going to specify where we are going to store every value that we use by these placeholders. So the first value is going to go to num1, the second to num2, and the third one, num3. All right, so that's basically pretty much the same as you would have used uh, three scanf commands in three lines. We can do all of this in just one line. And now what we should do is simply to use some conditions. So first of all, let's think about how we should solve it. We should aim to find the maximum between three numbers. And we've seen, if I'm not mistaken, some example like this where we had to write this inside of this int main function. It's just that right now we are going to write it inside of other function that we've called it max between three. So the first thing we are going to do is to specify if 
num1 is greater than num2 which means there is a chance if that's the case if that happens to be true there is a chance that num1 will be the maximum and all that remains in such a case is to check if num1 is also greater than num3 and if that's the case we know that num1 will be the maximum right because it's greater than num2 and greater than num3 so in this case we are going to return right to return num1 so if this line will be executed we are going to step out of this function without even care uh, what will happen afterwards but if that's not the case if we have here the else section we are going to specify what what do you think we are going to specify return num3 is that correct so yes that's definitely correct and the reason for that is because if num2 is greater than num if num1 is greater than num2 but num1 is less than num3 then definitely num3 is greater than num1 but num1 is greater than num2 so that's why we are going to return num3 but if the condition for this if the result for this condition was false then we are going to use here an else if and we are going to specify if num2 is greater than num3 then in this case we are going to return num2 and also the else section if this condition happens to also to be false we are going to return num3 is that clear the logic and everything behind this functionality of finding the maximum between three values is something that you have to understand to some extent at least at this point and what interests us here is not the logic behind it is actually how we formulate and how we use function that returns something an int value and receives nothing and reads from the user some uh, numbers so that's okay and now let's go to see how we can call this function inside of the main function and we can say that it will pretty much be very easy let's first of all create a max variable because we know that this function this max between three will return something it will return something of type int so we want to catch to get what and to get and store what this function will return inside of some variable and in this case this variable is going to be max so we can say that max equals right we use the assignment operator because this function returns something and instead of uh the function that we use here max between three right we we will receive once it's over once this function is complete here will be instead of this uh expression here will be the result that the function returned whether it will be num1 num2 or num3 value so now let's see how this function looks like and build and run it so enter num1 num2 and num3 let's say that num1 will be 5 and num2 will be 7 and num3 will be 9. now we will press enter and basically nothing happened so why is that that's because the function itself did not print anything to the screen to the console application the function just returned some value between these two function right to these two functions they talked to each other this one the int main called this max between three and this max between three returned some value to main it didn't print anything to the screen but if we did want to print the maximum result to the screen we should do something like this we should do printf maximum equals to percentage d and instead of this percentage d we are going to specify what resides in this max variable which is basically the result returned from max between three function so we will just do something like this max and semicolon at the end and let's try to build and run it once again and we can see that let's see we can see that five seven and nine these were our previous examples so five seven and nine and the maximum equals to nine which is exactly what we expected let's try to run it once again with some different values so five fifteen and ten 
So the maximum is 15 and it seems that the function is working as expected. So this is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one where we are going to talk about another example of function usages where we are going to return some value and the function also is going to receive some parameters which something that didn't happen in this example. So until next time, I'll see you there.